Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay. We are going to wait a few minutes for the rest of the class. Okay. Very good. good. Fine. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. What's your day? Hey, everybody. Welcome to the class. Just a few today, but that's the way it is. So, uh, I heard that some of the students are kind of sick. I know that this, this time of the year, sometimes it's kind of difficult because there are lots of flus, because it's starting to rain, but it's also hot, but sometimes it's cold at night. I mean, uh, the world is crazy, right? So <laughs> that's the way it is. Anyways, we're going to give it a shot and start. Let me just go here and check about the platform. Okay, so this is the class of tonight. Okay, and uh, this is the homework for tonight. So it's something that we checked the other day. Um, this is the one that is not taking any. I reported that already. So don't worry about that one. And these are the other ones. Remember that uh, on the number two, we have to enter Jimmy. Not Jim, but Jimmy. Okay. Uh, and for the other ones, the period and things like that one. Order here in past, right? Uh, and things like that one. So we checked that already. But anyways, I'm remembering that one. So this is the homework for tonight. All right. We are going to check about the attendance. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Alejandra Michelle Hueso Najera. Ana Selmi Chévez. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Present. Good. 
Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, teacher. Good. Maybe Coromoto García de Calderón. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present, teacher. Good. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present, teacher. Good. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Good. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Perfect. So let's start with the class. Let me just check something. All right, we're going to start with a little video. Yesterday we were discussing about some accents and we're going to check about that one tonight, okay? So as usual, we're going to see the video and then uh, we're going to provide comments or opinions or what do you get from the video, okay? Here we go. morning. This device is configured for English. Good morning. Please repeat in standard English. Good morning. Rare dialect detected. Calling iRabbit customer support for assistance. Hello, sir. Nice sunny day. Sorry about that. How can I help you today, sir? I tried to start my iRabbit, but the damn thing doesn't seem to work. Sir, this device is configured for English. I am speaking English. If you speak rare dialects, kindly send us an email using the customer support form. What rare dialects? I'm speaking the Queen's English. But your accent is not standard and slightly incomprehensible, if I may add. I'm a voiceover artist for the blistering BBC. Of course you are, sir. You think you have a good accent? My third cousin Mahesh thought the same thing. We had to record him talking and then make him listen to it by force. He cried like a baby. I have done more voiceovers than Morgan freaking Freeman. But if you allow me, I would recommend the famous accent coach Preeti Kapoor. Thank you. But everyone understands me here. You know, I myself did a six-month pronunciation course with Preeti. And look at me now. Don't need your damn course. Working for the best personal digital animal. Which doesn't seem to work. But it will after only 30 days with Preeti. We invented the language, didn't we? I use it every day to help people with my clear accent. I'm comfortable with my accent. Comfortable. What? What? Are you kidding me? Are you Comfortable. Are you comfortable? What is this vegetable? Sir, did you just head bubble and do the Indian accent? What? That's racist. What a load of cut wallop. I would ask you to refrain from using that kind of language. The language we've been speaking here for over 400 years. I sense micro racism and nano supremacy in your assertions. The fool does think he is wise, but the wise man knows himself to be a fool. Did you just Shakespeare me? I did Shakespeare you. Maria, we have a 301 denier here and it's escalating to a 509C. Hello, sir. My name is Maria. No need to Shakespeare and be rude to our collaborators. I beg your pardon? We don't tolerate any racist, sexist, homophobic, white supremacist, neocolonial insinuations on our platform. Are you from another planet? We will have to put you on hold for a second. Go oh, bloody hell! I was bloody barmy nitwit mooning with these bloody... We feel you are a menace to society. What? We have geolocalized you and alerted the authorities. Thank you for purchasing iRabbit 2.0 with very advanced AI. If you would like to improve your French, Spanish, Italian, German, or English, try Chinglish. Every okay, what do you get from the video? So funny, <laughs> so funny, but that is true because 
the different actions. Oh my God. <laughs> Imagine the internet. <laughs> and they're very, very polite <laughs> from England. <laughs> Very true. I mean, it was interesting because, I mean, there were three different accents there. Uh, the two people, um, I mean, the Indian, he was speaking. I mean, I, I understood very, very well to the Indian. Yes. He was speaking very nice. Uh, the English had a very strong accent, but he also was speaking good. I mean, but the accent was a problem there. And then came the other, the, the girl was, I don't know if you noticed that one, but she was Latin American. So she was... Yes. <laughs> yes, by all means, yes, yes. Yeah, so you listen to anyway. her and you understand everything. Oh, she's anyway. <laughs> it's because we speak the same, right? Yes, and I think it could happen, you know, if you use an, an app and a, for a language, for learning any language, you could have this kind of problem. It is the same when we are using our learning platform and you have advised us that if, if we do not use period, uh, the app do not accept our answer. Yes, as a right, correct one. And it is a problem also, I have tried with uh, some apps for uh, uh, correcting pronunciation, and it, it, is, it could happen that the app do not understand you, does not understand you. That is true. So the thing is that sometimes there is just an entrance for the apps. So if you do something that is a little bit different, a little bit, it's not going to take, right? So the same happens, for example, here on our, on our platform. If, uh, I mean, uh, if you use a symbol that is similar to the apostrophe, but it's not the apostrophe, it's not taking that one. Or if you miss the period, or if you contract and you don't have to contract, I mean, those things sometimes happen, so... Uh, and technology, I mean, now that we're speaking about that one, uh, chat GPT and some other uh, artificial intelligence is going to happen the same. I mean, if you, if they don't recognize what you're talking about, probably, I mean, nothing's going to be working the same way, right? Yes, and with chat GPT, you need to be understandable to the, to the, to the app, to the machine. You know, the, the only advantage is that we can speak in our own language. That is true. So, yes. Uh, and yes, I mean, you sometimes you need to uh, uh, provide more information. They ask you because you, they don't know exactly what you're talking yes. about. Yes, yes. It's a, it's a very interesting thing. I mean, and that can happen to anybody. I mean, we that we don't speak Spanish, I mean, English as a native uh, tongue. If we go to other places, I mean, we need to be patient because probably because of many things they won't understand. But if you continue practicing, of course, uh, that is something. I mean, right now we're speaking, I mean, we're learning about vocabulary, we're learning about uh, different uh, pronunciation things. But in the future, when you are able to speak very fast, that is maybe the last thing that we need to practice, accent, right? Because, uh, well, the one that we teach here, most likely in Latin America is going to be American accent because it's the, the one that is closest. If you learn English, for example, in any country in Europe, they are going to teach you British accent. So that's the way it is, right? Very good. Any other comment about the video? Anything that you heard that is interesting for you? Nothing else. Okay, very good. So let's start with the class tonight. And uh, in mind that you um, you would like to run a business, what kind of business would you like to run? If you have the chance, in mind that out of nothing, you have the money and you, you decide to run a business, what kind of business would you like to run? You know, I would like to run a business in uh, in at uh, the health in the health healthy health sector, health sector. You know, oh, and beauty beauty and health sector. It would be excited for me for me at this stage of my life. 
Oh, that is very interesting. Health thing yes. and uh, beauty. Yeah, beauty, yeah. beauty. And uh, what? Uh, how would you do that one? I mean, you are going to uh, offer s surgeries or things like that. It could be good, and I am. I will starting with me. I will start with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I think I think you know. Um, nowadays, it is really. A, a big question how to keep yourself health and and the beauty and the longevity 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 huh and the and the longevity and you know you can do it through um, um, nutrition advisors beauty uh, beauty advice and some uh, exercise sport a sport a, a a gym a place and I would like to integrate everything like that. And you know, but in the city, it is really, the, the competition is really high. And I would like to go to another city, for example, like San Miguel or Santa Ana. And you know, the, the, the market is, is very young. It's very nice. I, I have made some investigation. I have investigated what, a little bit and I think uh, it could be also in a spa in Apaneca. We have been looking for a place, something like that, for an integrated place when we, uh, where we can offer um, naturaleza, how do you say that in English? Nature. Nature uh, and health and beauty services. Hey, that sounds very good. And actually, I mean, I, I believe that you have a very clear idea since you are investigating and researching. It definitely seems that it's something that you can achieve. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I live in Santa Ana and I'm very sure that people, they would love to go. And here in Santa Ana, I mean, nearby in Huachapan, Santa Ana, there are places full of nature where you can have, for example, hot, natural water uh, and many other things integrated. So, uh, and the good thing is that Places are not that expensive as in San Salvador, right? Yes, it could be a plus. Some some uh, hot water uh, uh, places with some hot water and something like that, uh, uh, like a watch Japan. When you go to Ataco, in, uh, not far from, in in the same road. Yeah, exactly. You can go to thermals places. Exactly, there are places like that one. So if you have a place there and you integrate things that, that like the one that you say like i don't know meditation or yoga or uh, or anything like that i believe it will be it will be a very good thing <laughs> very good perfect thank you for sharing my way uh, any other person wants to share what kind of business would you like to to run in my case teacher uh, i would like to run a, a restaurant yes but but uh, i i love the food uh, the typical food right mm. yeah, for me is uh, the the most delicious <laughs> yes uh, in uh, something like uh, my be said uh, in a in a, in a specific uh, location in uh, in the in the nature right and i i will offer uh, the 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 main dishes from El salvador and with a uh, uh, i don't know with a uh, um a specific taste, a uh, um, secret uh, tip. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love I love the, the the kitchen. I love to to cook for my uh, my family. Okay, yes. sounds like a very good plan. Very good. So typical typical food and things like that. You know, uh, yeah, you can integrate. Uh, we can create a corporation and. We can have businesses all together. Imagine that if my bay has 
uh, the spa and the beauty thing, and then they can go to your restaurant there in the same place. I mean, that would be very good, right? <laughs> yeah. Very nice, very nice. Uh, have you thought about the name for the restaurant? But, uh, uh, about uh, 15 uh, years ago, we have a, a, a project with uh, with people that they they have the the, the, the money right when start the the project of construction uh, uh, puerto uh, el, el cuco in la unión okay. puerto de cutuco okay. cutuco port in la unión uh, we have a, a a big a big project with uh, uh, friends that because they they have money and they consider me uh, that I I will help them with the the project and about the name uh, we have a a, a name a, a weird name but <laughs> uh, the planes. Uh, fall down because uh, nowadays uh, this uh, port uh, doesn't doesn't work that uh, expect right yeah. and the, the the project the planes fall down but uh, in the future I hope we, yeah, we we follow with the the project because I like the I like to to cook and and I consider we we I we, we can uh, working on that. Whatever that sounds yeah. yeah sounds sounds very good sounds like a very good idea and uh, uh, you know there is always time for them. Sometimes yes uh, there is a right time for everything and yes. if the right time comes you are going to have your chance. Yes, that's correct. And that is a very good business. I mean, food is a very good business. Maybe it's very hard. I mean, oh, food, uh, food and a uh, 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 mini mini hotel. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That is that is a very good business. I mean, if you do the right thing with the taste, that is nice, and the prices are the right ones. Uh, definitely, that is a very good thing. But as I was telling you, sometimes you have to wake up very early, to start very early. I mean, uh, change things because you cannot cook the same things every day. A lot of things, logistics, inventory in food is very very difficult but if you do the right things of course you can you can achieve that thank you. <laughs> very good perfect thank you for sharing any other person wants to share if you had a chance to run a business what would you do be sure uh, I, I i would like to have a room a peruvian food restaurant okay. i think it's a delicious and has a uh, combination of flowers between meats, poultry, and seafood. In my opinion, one of the best meals. Um, a few years ago, we had a private restaurant with my husband. Unfortunately, due to lack of time, we closed what is my project on my wish list. Okay, very good. So that sounds also like a plan. Why Peruvian? And because for me is my favorite meat. Okay, uh, and what kind of dishes do you have in Peruvian food in cuisine? Mm, uh, for me is um, uh, ceviche dishes. Mm -hmm. Peruvian ceviche? Yeah, that is, is ceviche. A... That's a Spanish word. Uh -huh. Okay. Ceviche Peruvian are very good. And to the um, uh, poultry okay. and, and meat, it's very good because the, Peru the Peruvian food have a combination of flowers. It is very good. I, I do not put... Um, the Peruvian food have a uh, different species. 
spices. Spices, different spices. Um, uh, it is too very hot because the Peruvian foods use many different um, papers. Uh, is a is a good explosion of flowers. That sounds very good, actually. I would like to try that one. I don't remember if I have tried anything from Peru. I've never been to Peru, but I believe that would be very good. And I believe, of course, if you have a restaurant like that one, you will set things, pictures from Peru. Uh, well, in mind, if you have a, a llama, <laughs> that will be successful, definitely. Take a picture it with the llama. There are a uh, famous beverage in Peruvia is uh, um, uh, chicha, chicha moral. This uh, beverage is to base to co uh, purple corn. It's very delicious. In my, and that sounds delicious. I'm hungry already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very good. Perfect. Thank you, Carla, for the uh, sharing. Anybody else is want to share? Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, and the topic is a, a business. And my case, uh, let me tell you that I had my home business. Okay. I had a sales page and fame. Oh, very and good. I love the, excuse me? Uh, what what do you sell? You say a uh, different product picture, the jeans, lotion, uh, cheers, uh, for lady, for men, for children, different, and and always uh, I have about uh, my my page famous is a Saturday, uh, Monday. And the company I know work and they oh. were at uh, my house. <laughs> yeah. This is the, I, I love the business. And, with, and after the children and always my mom, how do you say inculcar? Uh, taut. Taut, my mom is a, uh, uh the the business my mom the business the supermarket the supermarket uh, <clears throat> and the cereal of wilta oh. and the the sell the product is a uh, uh, uh verduras y frutas <laughs> a fruit okay oh, yes and vegetable okay it, very interesting it, it's the family the the business <laughs> so you have the business in your blood Right, very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, so you okay, have thank you. you have your regular job during the week, and then on the weekends you have your business. Yes, yes. Okay, interesting. The weekends. Yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> and that's the East business. Extra money. Yeah, of course, very good. That's exactly what I'm doing here. You know, <laughs> I have my regular job and at <laughs> night I enjoy talking with you, and they pay me for that one. It's a very good thing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. My family is is a uh, a good, is a good, and and they and they and help me a uh, 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 my business. Very good, perfect. That sounds nice. And uh, does your business have a name, or is just your business? And that's it. You me? Does your business have a name? Ah, the pains, name. Name, the name of the business, or there's no name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you say varieties? Varieties. Uh, varieties. My name uh, is name, name my wife. <laughs> ah, okay, very good. Yeah. Nice. It's a, it's a business family. That my sounds... son, my, uh -huh. my wife, and me. Very good. A three. So what you need to do is to send the catalog to the WhatsApp group. And if uh, the people here, they order in English, they have 5% of discounts. Very good. 
<laughs> okay. And it's a full to read. <laughs> definitely, definitely. We will be expecting that one. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Thank you, Tishibai. Good. Uh, anybody else uh, wants to share? What kind of business would you like to run? Me, teacher. Okay. When our friends um, sometimes speak uh, around this, um, we uh, speak in around the um, uh, peri-urban agriculture, okay. but uh, make a mix uh, with alternative food service. Because in my job, I recommend the person make agriculture different. Not only one product is a corn, but in your house, near your house, the people can, I don't know how this is, sembrar. Um, oh, I don't remember that word. <laughs> yeah, there is uh, so so is the word. Yeah, it's S O W. So, so, mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, many species, uh, spaces is a uh, easy, is a uh, easy, um, uh, can be in a little space, uh, for example. Um, madre cacao, um, teverito, chaya, um, I don't know how to say potato de here, <laughs> but just um, la conozco como papa al aire. No sé. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, some types of um, espinaca, but is uh, the the guía, is no it is no espinaca que conocemos. The guía. It, ah, okay. it, it's easy for 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 para cosechar estas son son plantas fácil. To crop. Es como una mezcla. Ah, uh, okay. Crop. Crop. It's easy. Um, is a uh, is a mix. The people can in her house or his house, his house, um, some species and can learn how can be cooked these species. Okay, very interesting, very good. So you, and, and do you need a lot of space for doing that one? No, you need, uh, well, if you can uh, um, try it, you can uh, a, a little if you a cut, but you don't uh, cut is a uh, big um, teverinto uh, is too, but it's easy in your no sé alrededor del del terreno de su casita. Oh, okay. can, in the garden, can, just say. You say in the that. garden, okay. but you need a cut. Okay, so yeah, you need to put something. Okay, other species good. is a uh, is a little insect. Okay. And you can uh, in I don't know in maceta. <laughs> ah, okay, in a, yeah, or in a little spaces. Okay, very good. So yeah, uh, my baby has a point here. Some plants are very easy to crop. Sometimes you don't need a lot of time, and you don't need a lot of a big space. So Resources. that is a very good thing. And nowadays that everything is is uh, is very expensive. I mean, it's a very good idea. Uh, you know, there at Google, I have a, a friend that he says that he was uh, spending a lot of, of money in X, so he bought hens uh, that puts X, two X every day. So <laughs> he doesn't pay for X anymore. That's a good thing, right? Yes, and you can use uh, um, garbage that to your house and cascara, no sé cómo se dice cascara, ah, of the, eggs. The skin skin eggs, um, vinagre, you can use you okay. all the, the garbage and the cook okay. for, um, take a, I don't know how to say, sustrat, 
<laughs> for the plant. All right, yeah, that is so so true. Yes, that sounds recycle. Like, ah, recycle, <laughs> yeah, and continue on that one. <laughs> Very good, perfect. Thank you. So, uh, no worries, Anasami. Okay, so who else wants to share? What kind of business would you like to run if you have the chance? In my case, teacher, mm -hmm. I could like um, business related to the financial education for the women, but mm -hmm. uh, the um, but successful company, the, the project in general, uh, um, for education, it's my wish. <laughs> teacher mm -hmm. um related to the um not not necessary formal education but in my opinion it's very important to give a more skill related to the the financial topic and uh -huh. in in our society, uh, a lot of family, the main income for the family is related to the the women job or women work. Right? I'm uh, not sure what is the the right. Yeah, job working. is fine. Yeah. Yes, the main. The, uh, the women, uh, they are the main provider, provider, provider for uh -huh. their families. Okay. So, yeah, and that is very common, right? I mean, in these days, women that are uh, single mothers, that is exactly. very, very common, right? Right. Okay. And so, what you, what would you like to do is like, like a non-profit thing, I guess. In my idea, uh -huh. um, yes, similar the activity related to non-profit company, NGO, but the uh, baseline uh, of activity related to the, of um, to improve the income for the families Very good. and in my mind i my dream is uh, to get the scholarship for for the children for the women because i believe that the education is key for the chain of the life of the family okay so yes, I believe that what you have in, in hands is, is a good thing. Actually, I'm very sure that if you present like a project to the government, maybe they can give you yeah. the chance to do that one. Um, of course, the time, I mean, and the effort to do that one is another thing that we need to evaluate, right? But it sounds like a very good plan. And uh, beyond about that one, I mean, I, I guess it's a good topic for a lot of people. We sometimes are people that they don't know how to handle uh, money, right? I mean, they don't save money or they spend in things that are not necessary. Many things happen here in El Salvador. So uh, that would be a very good topic for a lot of people. Yeah. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Anasalmi. I see, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody else's? What kind of business would you like to run, my friends? Sometimes, yeah. sometimes I think that maybe I can call a, a, a business because one of these days I was talking with my my older sister about the the older people, the older people because these days I I went I I. 
What do you say, acompañar? Uh, like people I that... Take, for example, I went to the... I went to the social secure... The world social with mm -hmm. my mom. Mm -hmm. Because uh, she is 79 years old. And sometimes uh, she forgot the things and she needs help. And we were, we were we were talking with my older sister and we were, were talking about maybe a foundation, I don't know, with the sponsors to help the other people. Because you see people in the social security that are older and they need, they need help. They need someone to help to to do the the all the how do you say trámites? I don't know. Or the paperwork. And yeah, you see all the people, all these people, and you say they are alone, nobody with with them, and and I say they need someone to help them, and maybe I don't know a foundation that help other people to. To do all the, to all the, uh, I don't know, all the, all the things that they need in, at the hospital, I think. <laughs> but in that way, I, I don't know, I don't, I believe that can, can call business. But I like, I like to help. I like to help. Okay, that sounds like a very good idea as well. And yeah, you are right. You see a lot of people, um, old people, also young people that they sometimes they don't know what to do or where to go. Yeah, right? when I when I go, what I do, yeah, we need help. But sometimes people, I think, is so selfish. They don't they don't want to help. And I, you say what? <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> I I was we was wonder wondering with my with my with my older sister. Yeah, sounds like a very good idea. Let me ask you, if you will do that one, it will be for free or it will be like uh, with a little charge for people? No, it will be, with, it will be by free because uh, we, we, we can search for sponsors that help us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Very interesting. Thank you for sharing. And yeah, it sounds like a very good plan. Very good. Yeah. Nice. Uh, any other person wants to share? What would you like to run as a business? Uh, I would like to 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 do my. If I run my own business, teacher, I will raise animals. Why? Because I my uh, my bosses they work in 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 this kind of business. You know, raising animals. I think is for me the best thing to make money because you know everyone's has to eat and uh, and to and make food for people it's for me the best business so but what what i'm trying to say that this is a is, is a good business and you can make a lot of money is because you know i saw these these uh people uh doing uh they they have a special uh, special work and the he he's uh, the people who they sent somebody to Brazil, an engineer to, to Brazil, to show how in Brazil work with uh, raising animals. And, and, and I don't know if you guys know that Brazil has the best uh, productions uh, and how to introduce uh, animals like chickens, pigs, and cows, cows, and everything. So, but what I'm trying to say is that my, my bosses, what the, the what we do, the, 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 they do is to send this person to Brazil to learn how they using technology and to bring it to here to El Salvador. Now it, they they have almost, let me see, they have like around nine farmers with chickens and pigs and they have the best technology because when I go to, to the farmers uh, here in, in Sonsonate, I, I saw a, a big farmers like with 30,000 
chickens. And you know what is the best important thing that the 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 the, 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 the these farmers work with um uh with ten temperature. You know nowadays the, the climate change or the climate change a lot. So it's very hot. Imagine if I if I do my own farmer probably I will don't have the same technology and probably my chickens will die because it's very hot. But the, this change because they have uh, like a air, con the chickens have air condition and the temperature inside of the former, it, it, it's a cold and it's a cold play to, to these animals. So they they making a lot of money doing this and they sell chickens to Super Selectos, Walmart, and I don't know if you saw the the brown of uh Selecto Fresh. Yeah. I don't know if you go to supermarket. You see, is this a Yodi Oro, Pollo Indian, Selecto Fresh? Yeah. So the Selecto Fresh is is the 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 brown of my bosses. And wh what I can say is that they very smart because they do it. it it's it's everything complete to the the work to, to get together because they have the the their own incubator. La incubadora, they have, they make her own concentrado, and they have her her own farms, and it's it's very nice. And like, if I run my own business, probably I will do that. But actually, uh, in this moment, it's very hard because you know the raw material, it it um, it's very expensive right now. So you need to have a lot of money to invest. In this kind of business, but if if I do my own business, if I do have the money, I will do the same. I'm uh, as my bosses because it's is the way you can learn money. Mm -hmm. Well, very interesting. Sounds like let a very me good. guess. Excuse me, Eric. Let me guess, Edwin Alexander. Do you work for San Benito? Uh, yeah. How, how do you know that? <laughs> no, 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 for not especially for San Benito. They ha uh, they. There are uh brothers with my boss. Okay, uh -huh. okay. No, no, no. I I, I work for oh. Prosalco. Prosalco ah, is Prosalco. An, uh, uh, okay. is another is another one. But I work with the uh I'm not working the company. I I work with uh the owner of the company. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very good, interesting. And in your opinion, mm. uh, what is the animal that is more productive? I mean the animal that you invest money and you have more money as a profit chicken chicken and right now is the best as, as san benito is is making hens is gallina right who yeah. who, who puts uh, who puts uh, who late eggs mm -hmm. right like that right uh-huh so but now it this is this very probably uh, these companies can grow because you know the war between Russia and, and Ukraine has uh, the, the impact of, of the war. It it it, it came to here because the material that sent Ukraine to 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 here to Central America, it um it's very expensive now, and it is uh like how how can I say this? Uh, I menos, you know, the, there is less. There is, is uh -huh, there is less material right now, so it's very complicated because you know the 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 chickens are in hands. You, I, I didn't know something. If I tell you, you know that the these animals they need to have a her own veterinary. They have to, to for uh -huh, uh -huh, and the their doctors and and things like. Oh my God! There is is a process that you, you is very huge. You can you you can imagine how how the, the long is the process to make chicken to lend, raise chickens and animals. You know, but it's very mm -hmm. interesting. And if you were there, probably you will have uh the the experience to 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 go there because in, in Sonsonate they have a lot of farms and i like to go over there when when they send me to to over there okay it's very nice very good that sounds very very interesting actually yeah and uh, um yeah i mean i believe that food is always a very good business right uh if yeah. you raise it if you cook it if you sell it whatever you do uh, is a very good thing and you are right i mean something that you say is very important i mean because of the war there in ukraine and 
and Russia, uh, I mean, that impacts everybody. I believe exactly. this, is something, mm -hmm. this is something that, uh, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, no, I just, I just say exactly like the, okay. the war, it, 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 they impact everybody. No, no, not only the material, uh, but also the, the gas, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are mm -hmm. right. I mean, this is something that I guess everybody we have learned from the pandemic, right? I mean, exactly. maybe, in, maybe in the past we could say, um, I mean, if a Chinese person is eating a bat there in, in China, uh, that, there's nothing to do with me, right? But that is not true. Uh, you, we have learned that if somebody is doing something in the other side of the world, that affects me, right? That can affect every single person in the planet. So uh, definitely it's a very good thing. And there are many other things. I mean, I was reading this week, actually, that in the U.S., the FDA, they approved uh, for some companies that they are going to grow meat, no animals, meat. So they are going to produce meat itself. They are not going to sacrifice the animals anymore. They are going to grow the meat in laboratories, and they will be able yes. to. I have saw a documentary about Israel meat production. It is true. It is now a reality like artificial intelligence. Yeah. So uh, it's very interesting. I mean, of course, it's something that we need to be careful about that one, right? Because, yeah, it's a big impact. If they do the right thing and everything is fine, we're going to be fine. But sometimes big companies, sometimes they do some things that are not that good, right? So I hope. I hope that everything goes well. And if it's less expensive and it's healthy, let's go for it, right? So that is fine. We can embrace uh, things that I want, but let's uh, put an eye on that one. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Edwin, for sharing. Anybody else wants to share? Okay, very good, perfect. So I believe that uh, throughout our lives, I believe everybody will have had some ideas for businesses, right? Sometimes we think, oh, that is a really good idea. I will do this. And I also believe that because of the complexity of the things and because it's very expensive, sometimes we have just the idea and that's it, right? We don't go and jump into that one. But yeah, if you have the chance, what I do is I research. Is this a good idea? I research if it's expensive or anything like that. Can I do it? Can I sell it? Sometimes the answer is no. So I stop, but at least I research, right? So if you find a very good idea and everything goes well, jump for it. That will be uh, the good thing. And also it's very interesting that you are talking about uh, helping people. That is something that is very, very important. I mean, uh, one of the things that I, I, I've been wondering and I would like to do is to create like a workshop, you know, a workshop for people that are very sad or that they feel lonely and things like that. And I will name it something like true happiness and the meaning of life, something like that. So uh, they realize that there are many good things that they can do with their lives and they can help people and love each other and love themselves. So this is something I'm working on my mind. So of course that is going to be for free. Uh, but if you want, and, and if you can do something about that one, let's do that. And the topic, I mean, this is not on the book, but I found that it was a very good idea. So I brought this topic for you, how to start a business. Yeah, there are many things that we can do. So, number one, brainstorm and refine your business idea. Definitely, that is one of the most important things. So, we're going to read a little bit about that one and check about how can we start a business. Let's see. Uh, Rosalena, could you please help me reading the first one? Okay. Brainstorm and refine your business idea. Having a great business idea is the reason why you decide to strike out on your own and start a business in the first place. The Eureka effect gives, gives adrenaline and makes us feel like we might be part of something bigger than ourselves. Still, 
keep in mind that most ideas require money, time, and may even come with potential risk. You'll need to refine and test your idea to make sure it's a viable option. If you're concerned about cash, explore these examples of low budget online business ideas that you can start right away. Okay, what did you understand on this first part? Um, the first things to uh, put on put an action a business is uh, the ideas that you have. Uh, you know, you have to know that there are some risks. And that's the reason because your, your ideas can be defined. Defined. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I think. Very good. Perfect. So, yes, having a, a good idea is the first part, right? Then you need to research. I mean, about the money, about how much time you're going to require, um, about the place where you want to do that one. What do you need so you can uh, go and do the business? And the last one is one that is very important, the potential risk. All the businesses, they have a potential risk. That's why, for example, in the pandemic, we had a lot of business that they closed because, I mean, for example, in my a bar, uh, some of my friends, they had bars, I mean, but nobody went out. So they had sometimes to close and sell things because they have to move on, right? All their businesses, on the other hand, they were very, very nice. I mean, the, for example, the, the companies that they sell the, the mouth mask, I mean, they were very happy about that one, right? They were like making a lot of money uh, and the world changed. So uh, so those are things that we need to consider. Of course, we expect good and bad things in the normal way, not a pandemic, right? But things like that may happen. But the teacher, the mm -hmm. teacher. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, the first step, right, is the um, the brainstorm the ideas, but it's very important. Um, you define the strategic plan, the the model of the business, because. Um, in general, the the idea of the business in your mind is possible. Uh, has the this uh, this organization uh, or only uh, the main problem in our small business is um, the the idea that the business is only. Uh, the main, you say, Fuente teacher found? No. Uh, source. Source, yes. The main source for your expensive life, expense, life expenses. It is not necessary. It's very important to separate part of the, your uh, profit for the invest. And, and this, the, the brainstorm is possible that the, you have the, the successful uh, idea, but uh, the part of the formal in, not necessarily the com com complex, complex business plan teachers is a simple business plan but it's necessary because it's a road for the business this is that my is opinion it. oh definitely actually uh, let me remember on advance number five we're going to speak about that one at the business plan how to create a business plan and uh, i guess that is one of the main reasons why here in this country a lot of businesses they fail because people, they say, 
Uh, let's run a pupuseria, right? Pupusas are very popular and we can make money about that one. No, but you need a business plan, right? You need to... Yes, lack the strategic the strategic idea. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, some people, I mean, they don't know that that exists. <laughs> so it's very, it's very difficult. But uh, that is something that we really need to think about that one and do that. Because if you really want to do something very good, you need to analyze a lot of things, right? Good. So uh, here Teacher. I'd like... Uh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Teacher, I want to say something. In the pandemic, in other um, difficult times, the creative option is necessary uh, because in the pandemic, uh, maybe many business died, but many business born because um, the people I, I remember, I write in the WhatsApp and Take me vegetables, meat, and others that me need, and I can, well, <laughs> everything. <laughs> Nadia for you. Yeah. And the people is crappy uh, when take uh, times, difficult times. That is true. Only when, when uh, it's are comfortable, we comfortable. We don't see uh, far. We see near. Very good. Yeah, actually, you have a point there. Uh, when we have a crisis, yeah, we need to adapt. And then we need to do something. I mean, yeah, definitely. I know that a lot of people, they lost their jobs, but they're still here. They have different jobs. Maybe there was a part of their life where it was difficult, but now they, they move on, right? And the same happened. A lot of other businesses, they rise because of the necessity, right? Yeah. It's possible that the, the that specific experiences, mm -hmm. possible the loss, the job, is the push, teacher. Yeah. Is the push that you need for begin, to begin uh -huh. the own business. That is true. Yeah, because I I knew, I mean, I was teaching at that time. I remember, and some people, they say, oh, I lost my job, but now I have my own business. Uh, I mean, that happens sometimes. I mean, sometimes bad things cause something good to happen, right? So we need to have, we need to see everything as an opportunity. I know that it's difficult sometimes, and I know that, I mean, we had a job, and now we don't have anything here, so, but that happens. And I just remember the story. I mean, I don't know if we discussed about that one, but there was a story that is called about the cow. Have you ever heard that story? Um, it's a, it's a actually a book, but the story is very short. I mean, yes, la vaca. Yeah, that is a very good thing and adapts exactly to this one. Uh, would you like to, to tell the story, my baby? Do you remember that? No, actually, I do not remember that, but I, I know uh, the another one, uh, similarly, the who has eaten my cheese. Ah, the cheese one, yeah. Yes, who has eaten my cheese. You know, it, it's, it's speaking about uh, that you need to, like Marielena said, uh, you need to be open to the change and know to close your mind, you know? And some sometimes you need a quite a little bit inspiration to get a, to catch a good idea how to start a, a new businesses. Very good. So that is it. I mean, the story of the cow is very simple. I mean, there was a wise man and his student walking around, and they came to a place where there was this house, the poorest house in the uh, in the town, and they only had a cow. That was the treasure. I mean, they they sell the uh, the milk and they made everything around the cow, uh, but they were very poor. And then the uh, the wise man said to the student, "I will teach you one one thing tonight." You know, and they ask to the family if they can sleep there, and they say, "Yeah, you can sleep over here." 
Uh, and in the middle of the night, the wise man uh, tells the student, come on. And he killed the cow. And and the student said, what did you do? Or what have you done? I mean, that's the only thing that these poor people have. And he said, you will see. And then they went away. And a few years, I guess, later, he they came back to the, to the same place. And instead of the poor house, there was a big house. Amazing. And then the student says, you know, they had to sell the house because they didn't have anything. But when they knocked the door, the same people came out. But now they were very nice, right? They had a lot of things. And they tell the story, you know, the same night that you were here, some bad people, they killed the cow. And we got desperate. We cried. We did a lot of things. Uh, but then they have to move on. They say, what are we going to do? And they planted some uh, vegetables uh, and they were eating that one. But at the end, they had a lot of vegetables and they started to, to trade uh, other people, other things. And then they had a lot more and they started to sell the things. And I mean, they created a business out of the necessity. And now they live better than before. And sometimes what happens is that we, we believe that we are fine. But sometimes when crisis come and we need to change and adapt, then we realize that we can be better, right? If we see the opportunity in the crisis, I mean, you can jump into that one and you can do many good things. Very good. Nice. Yeah, I like it. So the next one says, define your purpose. And Salvi, could you please help me reading this one? Yes, teacher. Define your purpose. Are you inspired by these examples? Sorry, teacher. I need my glasses. Don't uh, go ahead. <laughs> I suggest you take a step back to pause and consider the motivation behind your choice. While it's always good to know what you want to launch and for whom, it's equally important to ask yourself why you should to start here's a question for you to answer now is your idea serving a personal or marketplace purpose while it's important to choose an idea that's in line with your passions is also crucial that there's market demand for your product or service in order for your business idea to thrive? Thrive. 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 You must think of an in in terms of scalability, scalability, scalability. and long term scalability. And long term need for it by those of your target market. Perfect. What did you get from this? That uh, it's important the definition. What is your idea? For example, um, you want to a business uh, related to the product or related to the service. Um, it's important to, uh, it, it, what do you want to do? What is your passion? It, 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 it's very important, teacher, because the business is, is the similar relationship with a child. <laughs> <laughs> Required a lot of sources <laughs> and personal sources, <laughs> personal time. Money, uh, taker. <laughs> Very good. So that is it, right? I mean, um, when you have an idea, sometimes you need to be objective, right? Sometimes uh, you have to think, is this because I really like that one? I mean, you have an idea and you believe that it's going to be a very good idea. And that happens to a lot of people. So when they launch the idea, nobody launch. Yeah. Nobody, nobody sells the product or the service because, I mean, there is no market for that one, right? Teacher, so, it tried 
is the try, the the the, the try. Uh, thrive. thrive. Thrive is something that uh, flourish to prosper. Ah, okay. That is thrive. Thrive. Okay. Very mm. good. Thank you, oh, teacher. It's a pleasure. Uh, yeah, actually, I was thinking that we have some words here. So let me just check. Yeah, what is lounge, anybody? Lounge, when you, um, your project, a... Uh, you begin your project and it's, it's how do you when, say? When? Yes. When, maybe. when you have a product or service and you bring into the market the first time, then yeah. you launch. Very good. Yeah. So that it's is it. The beginning of the operation, maybe. Very good. So that is it. That is yes. when you launch something to, so people, they know about your product, right? Good, good. Uh, whom? What is whom? What is who? The group target. The target. Very good. Whom so, and for mm -hmm. whom? Group target. Who is yeah. going to need my product or service? So who, that is it. Who will buy it? Okay. So exactly. Or who has the need? Exactly. So it's going to be very similar to who. The difference between who and whom is that who is the subject, is who does the action, and whom is the object, is who receives the action. That is it, right? So if I say whom is the person that is going to receive the action, who is the person that actually does the action, that would be it. Okay, and let me see if there is any other. Uh, I believe that is it. Thrive was the other one. Scalability. Well, I well, think esca scalability could be a new one for, for some of us. Yeah. Scalability is the possibility uh, for the business to grow. You know, do you think in I, you have an idea uh, that is for an, it's a specific, a specifically a place? But you need to think that if you are, will be able to multiply the business in another places, Very to, to make it, to grow it, to make and it the grow. Expansion, the expansion, expansion, progress. Yeah, How that would be. Do you? Yes, it's, it's, it is very important, teacher, when you think in big. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, when you start a business, you know that you are going to start little one, but you have to pro project. Yes, to project in the future. Exactly. Yes, it's very important because. Yeah, definitely. That is that is actually the, uh, the purpose of a business, right? Not only to have money just to survive, but only also to 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 scale. Okay. So the other one says, test it out. Let's see. Um, Manuel, could you please help me reading this? Uh, actually, we are not able to hear you. Sorry, teacher. No worries. Test it out. Before moving forward with your business idea, you want to validate it by trying it out in the real world. This can involve anything from, from focus groups to information gathering, surveys, and interviews. Another strategy is to build a landing page for your target audience and to see whether you get any clicks. It is not only low cost, but can also help you measure consumer demand in your marketplace and generate interest in your product idea. If you find that your idea doesn't pick the interest 
of prospective client, it's time to reassess other choices. Consider how you can refine and refresh your idea to bring something new to the table or how you can adapt, adapt it to more directly address consumers' needs. Okay, what did you understand on that one? Okay, uh, I I think is uh, the other uh, step for a business start is consider if your product is necessary uh, because um, nowadays we we found. Uh, a variety of products, and that the market it's 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 it, it have a, a full uh, in the in the way that that you you can for example uh, in when I when I was uh, seeing uh, for example uh, online. A online place that sells um, different uh, watch watch relojes, right? Uh -huh. Yes, but uh, immediately we I, I had a I have a a different uh, places to 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 sell uh, watches, and I say, my God. Uh, for example, if I consider to to sell a a, a watches, I imagine that firstly I, I I can research the market of my the in the the sales in the market, the different uh, stores, and another uh, is. Uh, if I, I I show my product uh, in the cost uh, in the in the brand, uh, if the client liked, but if I I have not idea, but only uh, I I found in a, a Chinese place that they sell, for example, two dollars each each product, but if if many people sell the same product i i consider in this uh, step is really necessary to re, re, redefine right because is is not generate interesting in my product i think that the is not a good idea that's yeah. all this. Definitely perfect. So, uh, of course, I mean, before you spend a lot of money uh, launching the product and the services, um, you can test it out. So you can uh, try it with a, a few friends or uh, make a survey about what people think about the idea. Many things you can do. Uh, I mean, uh, that is something that even big companies, they do. I mean, in Hollywood, for example, in Hollywood, it's very popular that they present a movie just to, to a few people before they launch the movie and they uh, provide feedback and actually they sometimes they change things in the movie uh, and then the movie is better right so if they do it i mean we can do it as well before we launch a product and we can receive feedback uh, feedback so we can improve the product or service so that would be a very good idea through focus group teacher yeah, you can do a focus group, you can do, there are many, a lot of uh, techniques that we, we can use onto this one. So you can get the feedback that you are looking to get. Okay, let me check some, uh, some things here. Landing page, what is a landing page? Uh, website. Exactly, it's like the homepage, right? So, homepage, yes. 
when but you opt specifically for this product or service exactly. you are intend intending to offer that will be it. so yeah if they i mean if you are offering a product you need uh, like a website so they can go and read about these things uh, what is low cost Not too cheap expensive. Teacher. Cheap. <laughs> not too expensive. <laughs> yeah, okay. Cheap, not too expensive. Low cost. <laughs> Very good. What is to measure? But that's how you measure consumer demand. Measure? measure. To, um, okay, I know. I know it. Uh, Maybe indicator, teacher. You I can think. indicate. Okay. Yeah, it's when you put a number into something, right? Number. Uh -huh. That is, the, you put a number. Yes. Exactly. When you say this is high or this is six meters or anything like that. Okay, very good. And uh, peak. What is to peak? Uh, motivate to... Uh, it doesn't make a click with the with the people with the target group. Very good. So it's like a stimulate, right? Very good. Like a stimulate. Nice. Let me see if there is. And I, uh, Eric, I have so I have a a new one for me. When it was reassess, reassess. Okay. Consider con consider to try it again. Consider or assess again. Uh, especially when appears new factors, you know, to the analyze of the idea. When it is, uh, you know, sometimes I, 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 I consider that sometimes the new entrepreneur or small entrepreneur are afraid to take the risk to reassess the idea because they think they, they fail. And after the pandemic, uh, you know, you uh, quasi you was obligated to reassess everything, to test everything, you know, and it was a, a sign of maturity. And because we have uh, discovered that uh, the less you are afraid to try and to resist an idea, you will be more uh, successfully with the time, in the time. Very we good. do not need to be afraid for the reassessment of an idea. Yeah, very Maybe good. Maybe only we have not considered all the factors they, they, they should be considered. And th that is it. I mean, sometimes uh, yeah, we have a very good idea, but we need to, I mean, when we're going to launch the product, we evaluate a lot of things, risks and many things. But if you present this to people and they provide you feedback, you reevaluate, right? You reassess and then you define, you change things. And, and you are right. We don't have to be afraid about that one. We need to actually do it. So everything goes better. Okay, the next one says, pick a business name. Carla Vasquez. Pick a business name. Feeling satisfied with your business idea. The next step is to come up with a business name. This is one of the most crucial and potential challenges. A step of starting a business. First, your business names will show up wherever your business goes, influencing your marketing and branding effort down the, the line. Second, the right name will create a stronger first impression on potential. Okay. Clients. Sorry, on potential client. Okay, what did you understand on that one? Oh, is the main creative for your business because you need to 
have a uh, impact nay in your future clients because it's very important that your nay are in the brand of your focus client. Very it's good. very important. And yeah. about uh, it is very important now about in the social media because it's very important that, that your name um, uh, create a impact between your uh, your future client is very important this this point okay very good so yes actually that is one of the most important things because it's going to represent the whole idea right uh, mm. you somebody for example somebody says coca-cola you know what is that about uh, i mean some people you say coca-cola and they are thirsty right they want to go to the store and buy one in mind how powerful is the name of that brand so when you yeah. pick a business name it has to represent the idea it has to have an impact as you say uh, and that happens to everything everybody i mean the names that we have i mean it's not the same um to have a name like i don't know andrea than your name is Armen hilda right so uh, you imagine the person in different ways uh, i mean and that impacts all the life of the person the same happens to the business if you put a bad name to it uh, the whole life of the product is going to be like that and may cause problems with that one. I have an example, Eric. Okay. I have an example. I was the owner of a healthy uh, b a bar in La Gran Via okay. uh, years ago. And the name we picked up was Rumba Crazy, Healthy Bar. And Rumba Crazy was inspired because we have had always a very nice music, so Caribbean music, salsa music, and uh, the, the combination of, of smoothies with fruit and vegetables, chocolate, and a lot of things, they were really crazy combinations. Uh -huh. And it was really nice. But we need to leave the country for a time and therefore we have closed it. Oh, I see. Okay, so yes, actually that it has to be, it has to represent something, right? It's very, very important. And the name is one of the most important things. I don't see any new word here, so we're going to move on. Okay. Uh, use a business, uh, well, those are like ideas. What we can do, use a business name generator. I don't agree on that one. I mean, stop names that you can find there are not good at all. Um, I never found a very good name. I have tried that. Memorable name, yes. We need to try to find a memorable name. Something that when you say, it, people says, oh, it's that product, right? Okay, a name that's scalable. So as we say, I mean, uh, we have to think about projections in big right and the name has to represent a big product or a company okay let's check to the next one let's see Silvia Suleyma tell you a story stories express universal ideas that others can relate to helping form bonds between people in the same line incorporate incorpor incorporating your brand uh, incorporating your brand story into your business name can style certain yeah. excuse me Steer. Steer certain emotions in your audience, there, thereby attracting customers. The iconic Irish spring, the other one, so, for example, as a business name that 
y box um, this essence of an idyllic Irish I idyllic uh, idyllic Irish village or forest while the company was or originally launched in Germany its name and the story it evoke inspires customers uh, consumers to buy the product okay what did you understand on this one um the this topic uh, is about the the irish spring the uh, soap and and when was the the launch in Germany? Um, um, and men mention the stance this the the soap. Um, and the um, what are the emotion for the for for your audience? Okay, I don't know. That is it actually very nice. So okay. yeah, when you have a business, then you have to think the story that you want to tell and relate, right? So uh, actually, that is a very important word here, relate to. So you can create bonds between people. So that is a very important thing that uh, people, uh, when they listen to the name of the brand, uh, the same as Coca-Cola, right? So you, or some people, they feel refreshment. They feel very nice. Well, I, I don't because I don't like Coca-Cola, but some people are like that one. I mean, they think in their mind about the sugar and many other things. So the same happens here. So let's check some uh, vocabulary. Relate to, what is that? Vinculate. Very good. And actually, we have another word from that one. Bonds. What is bonds? Bonds. Helping from form bonds. Um, relations. Bonds. Very good. It's like to relations. Be... Yeah, it's like linked. feelings together. Yeah, very good. Link, good. but with feeling. Bond, but with feeling. Emotion. Yes. Very good. That is it. Uh, let me just check another thing. Steer. What is steer? Conduct. Uh, uh, it can be conduct. Name can steer in your audience. Uh, generate. So it's like generate. Down. This is so going to be like, like mix. Mix. Yeah. So that will be it. Actually, when you say I want to steer X, it's like <laughs> mixed X, you know. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, this word, remember that this word on pronunciation is deodorant. Okay. Deodorant. It's very important. Uh, Forgettable. What is evokes? Uh, make me to remember, make me to think about something very good that is like yeah in remembrance and in what is I idyllic romantic perfect idyllic very good sound like that very nice and that is it i guess there is no other very good so let's check the next one um uh, uh, who hasn't read? Uh, Wendy. Not possible. Okay. Okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. You know, other, other activity. Okay. Um, check, uh, read. Yeah, please. Okay. Check that it uh, is able. Available. Business, available. Business, business owner needs to think about the legal issues 
of their company name. You, you need to make sure that no one else has re registered your the desired business name, which you can check by doing a quick search on the used mark electronic term search search system. Taking this step will let you see if any tra trademark has el already been re registered for another business or relate product or service. There's also another point to consider when checking the available uh, availability, availability. Avail uh, what <laughs> availability 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 of your business name eventually you want to build a website for your business because you Domain name also knows know as your line address will most like likely be the same as your business name. You need to make sure it's a Bible to check the domain a Bible of your business name. Do a domain name search for more information on creating a website and choosing a domain name. Read through the section below. Okay, what did you understand on this one? Uh, it's um, speak of legal of the name legal of business okay. and uh, a mark registered mark a registered mark yeah yeah it's uh, uh, the need uh, okay. or uh, aspect of consider in mark or uh, about legal name. Okay, so that is it, right? I mean, uh, when you choose a name, it is necessary, of course, that the name is a very good thing, and because you are going to do. Uh, marketing with that one but also we need to be careful about uh, the the legal thing right so remember that we need to research if there is no other product or service with the same name and also the same happens with the domain name i mean when you want to create a website for example uh, we need to be uh, we need to include on the name the name of the company or the name of the product right so but if the name of the domain the domain name that is the website is already taken it's not possible for you to use it. So you need to research first. I mean, maybe you have a very good idea about the names, but you need to research first so everything goes very well. Good, good. Uh, let me check if there is vocabulary. Let me just check. What is issues? Uh, problems. Problems, very good. Topic. Topics. Topic. Okay. Uh, let's see. What is trademark? Trademark. Trademark has a registered. It's the commercial. A registered mark. Very good. Commercial <laughs> name. Registered commercial yeah. name. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like checking if 
this the name of this product or company is not registered legally, right? Wait. So Wait. we need to check into that one. Okay. Let's see. What is availability? Like disponibility? Something yeah. like that. Very good. Nice. Uh, let's see if there is any other. I don't think so. Okay, very good. So, Teacher, that is... Like, likely. Uh, likely. What is likely, my friends? Likely be the same. Actually, it's this has... It's probably, teacher. Yeah, it's probably. Probably something. And this is most likely. Likely. It's most very likely. probable. Uh -huh. It's very probable. Very good. Uh, create a professional website. Uh, let's see. Uh -huh. Edwin. Yes. Um, create a professional website. With more people online than ever before, having a strong website is absolutely much for starting a business. Like, like ways prospective clients, invest investors, and partners are going to check out your website. So it's an opportunity for you to build a strong first impression of your brand. This makes makes uh, important to consider the business goals you want to set for your website. With this mind, Take a look at this, a small business website designed tips to guide you. Okay, so what did you understand about this one? Well, what I understand, teacher, is that create a professional web uh, uh, website is the best thing you can ever do. Why? Because nowadays we are living with social media. If you create a website, well, uh, likewise. Or, or commercial or whatever a, a, a your product is going to be in in, in this and it it is in is in open opportunity to to your to your product shows to to everyone you know because social media nowadays it's it's an important media that it's important media that that everyone can see so for me, is is very very important to get more clients, and and in the impression to your to produce your brand. Very good. So that is it, right? So, a website, I believe, if you are going to run a business, is a very important part. Um, so you need to have a a website that is it's like a window, right? So everybody understands your product, see information about your company a lot of things so that's why this is one of the most important things so we can uh, get more clients to our business uh, let's check some words let's see uh, likewise what is likewise, likewise. Yeah. the same way in the same way very good mm -hmm. similarly similarly good uh, what is brand Brand. Brand is the commercial name of the product. That oh. is it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like the uh, like the commercial and exactly what you say. Okay, uh, we're not gonna check into that one. Uh, okay, this is no, we're not gonna check into that one because it's it's related to that one. So we are going to check this one. Uh, conduct market research. That is going to be for Walter Morales. Hello. Okay. Um, data. Conduct um, market research. Research. Data shown that uh twenty four percent or businesses 
and far because there is a no market need to prevent this. And you need to have a clear uh, understanding of how the what your business idea fits in the market. This begins with drop with draw and market research research on everything from potential customer to industry and related star and reports essentially this is especially research on business consumer and we able and making trends there are two cents of a result, primary and secondary. A primary result is the direct study of your target market by researching them first. And should have been conducting user, by conducting by conducting user interviews of all the focus group. And you want to define who your customer are and for a segment you make it by an AJ location, language painting, overall every day on flight. For example, colleague student and new new or retirees. Retired. This will, or re retirees, actually. Retirees, thank you. This will help you identify, identify, uh, analyzing the characteristics with your client base for the value of your overall business and strategies. And secondary resource consists of guaranteed information from newlywed. 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 I'm going to mute you, uh, Newlywed. maybe, because we're really... From a standard resort and conducting an only resort of building to public document and commercial resort and, and agencies like the USA uh, but I will level the strategies are good starting point down the line you might also for internal that just a uh, different you can tour to your own salary report and see what friends do all right under your nose. Hey, okay, what did you understand on this one? Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, and focus is a a, a, a a potential the the strategy the industry the different industry uh, and especially uh, con convenes the 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 products primary secondary or no uh well not the products but there are types of uh, market research ah uh, okay and primary resource uh, is the the student the marketing by the focus the group a define and uh the customer and and can help you identify the different characters uh, with their the required the claim. Okay. Okay. Very good. So this is, uh, yeah, actually, this is one of the most important things. So um, market research is important because we need to understand the market, right? Yes, we might have a very good idea and yes, we might have a very good name, 
but we need to be sure that the people they are going to come and purchase our products or services, right? So it says that has shown that 42% of businesses fail. In mind that one, 42% of businesses fail because there is no market need. So yes, maybe your idea is very good for you, but it's good for the other people because that's what happens sometimes. We say, oh, I will buy this and I will launch this product. Uh, but actually the people they are going to to purchase that one, they, they believe they need this product. Okay, so we need to understand how is the market going, right? And then we have here that there are two kinds of research or market research. The primary is direct. You go and you uh, make service, uh, interview people, focus group with people so you understand many, many things. And the other one, the secondary research, is like when you get information from other sources. You don't do it yourself. Other people, they have made a research or you uh, research online about some things. So it's going to be just like that one. And the good thing is that now we are more clear on what we need to do. I mean, there are many ways that you can get the information that you look uh, or that you want. Uh, but, well, in my opinion, I mean, I will get the, the primary, right? Because uh, when you do and ask the questions, you ask those relevant questions to the people and you will be able to understand not only the words that they say, but also the feeling that they express when you are interviewing people, for example. So it's totally different. Let's check some vocabulary. What is to prevent... Act that helps that something bad not occur. Very good. So think before something happens so it doesn't happen. Right? It doesn't good. happen. Uh, fits. Your idea fits. What is that? How and where do you present this idea? Fits. Mm. Pass together fits something like that one when it matches, right? It matches, matches, matches. Very yes. good. Let's see Match. what is thorough. Detailed, very detailed, detailed. work, very full, complete, complete. Mm, let's see what is that. Statistics, in short. That is it. Statistics. Nice. Uh, let's see. What is behavior? Conduct. The conduct. Yeah, the way that How somebody acts. The way, act. the way somebody acts. And what is trends? Trends. Mm. It's like it's a... ten, teacher. Is maybe that uh, how is the behavior of the market? Very good, the behavior of the market when the you action when you look for a tendency, right? So you say this tendency. is happening, right? Tendency. What else? What is first hand? Percent to make it direct, direct with the target group, direct with the exactly. target group. Very good. So that is it. No intermediaries, right? Not intermediary. Uh, what is uh, further? In addition. In addition, very good. Further to go and do something like that. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, newlyweds. Hey, I have a look at after it. And newlyweds, uh, recently married. 
person. Exactly. <laughs> this is when you believe that it's going to be forever, right? Uh, yes, the, the first stage. <laughs> when you are so happy. <laughs> okay, and the other one is retirees. I am retirees. Ah, for okay, the government. Good. <laughs> Very good. I am well, 62. Ah, that's good. That's nice. Yes. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Uh, within. What is within? Within the clients. Um, related to uh, involved in, um, no, uh, within your client base. Uh, I know what is it, but it's quite difficult. Yes. To, with, to without it, is, 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 with, no, with, with him with him is, is the opposite is of the without. Inside. <laughs> inside. Okay. Yes. Inside. inside. That will be very good. You know, this word, sometimes we confuse that one because in Spanish we are, only have one word. But in English we have between, we have among, and we have within. And within. the three okay. words are different, right? So between is between two things, among is surrounded by, among, and within right. is uh, inside of something it's, very big, right? Yes. So uh, in this word is very popular. For example, in interviews, when you do an interview in English and they say, uh, why would you like, for example, to get into this position? And you say, I like to grow within the company, for example. So okay. You have to use within, not in the company and not into the company or not between the company. That won't be good. No. Within the company. The company. That okay, fine. Good. Let's see uh, here. Gathering. What is gathering? Uh, compiling together. Compiling. compiling. To put together, together. things. To put good. together things. Um, and what is sources? Sourced. Um, where do you, where do you take something? I say, where do you look after something? Right. The place, the the person. Uh, you can have an a soul for an interview, a source for an interview. Okay, it's where exactly what you say. Where you get something, right? The source of information or anything like that. Uh, let's see. Um, let me think. No, there is not any other thing. Okay. Asking the meaning of the words uh, allow us to practice our English too. Very nice way. Yeah, as I was telling you before, I mean, I know that in uh, in the beginning you were saying, why don't we do this? Sometimes what happens is that in these classes we change things, right? Sometimes we yes. just read because we want to improve how fast we read uh, or what you understood. But sometimes we read and we check for some vocabulary. So there are different ways of doing things. And I try to do in many ways uh, things. So uh, yeah. this is something that we do. Very good. So, uh, well, it's very late, so we cannot continue, but we're going to continue tomorrow with number five, definitely. Before we finish, do you have any questions, my friends? No questions. I was connecting. I was connecting while you you make the made the attendance list. Okay, don't but worry. But I We're was connecting. Okay, that's fine. So let's check into that one right now, and then uh, remember that for Friday we have two homeworks, words, yes. two or three words, and that you are going to bring something and tell, explain about that one. Okay. Yes. That is Teacher, for this. Uh -huh. Me disconnect to in the first attendance. Don't worry. We're going to check into that one right now. Okay. So Thanks. the 101 of today is for Gloria. Let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Alejandra Michelle Hueso Najera. Ana Sermi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Present. Good. 
Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Maybe Coromoto García de Calderón. Present. Good. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. Good. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present. Good. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Ah, ok. Eh, Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Good. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow in Dreaming English. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hello, Gloria. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm sick. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes, I'm helpless in the... Uh, in my... Uh, I, I defic difficult to speak. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that one. So, I'm not going to tell you that okay. much. Okay. Uh, check. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, and... and uh, in the boca, sí, en el In the mouth, yeah, I know. Okay, uh, just one question. Do you have questions about the classes? I mean, do you need anything? I don't know. I like the the forms. Okay, very well. And the platform, I saw so. <laughs> All right. If you have questions, let me know, okay? In the chat or in the classes, of course, it will be a pleasure to help you. Yes, okay. Okay, since you are sick, I'm not going to stay with you that much. So have a good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye.